Well, today we're in 1 Samuel chapter 10, and I'm hiding behind some baggage because that's what happens in 1 Samuel chapter 10. So many people have joked that they've seen every room in my house as I do devotions. Well, you've never seen my attic. We have suitcases and Christmas boxes behind me, but in this chapter, you have baggage and somebody hiding. The chapter begins with the prophet Samuel coming to Saul and anointing him with olive oil, saying to him, you have been chosen to be the next king. Wow, that's amazing news. He even gives him some signs so that he can be sure it's true. One of which would be, as he is walking along, he'll see some prophets and the Spirit of God will mightily come down upon him and he will begin to prophesy. All of this comes to pass. And then there's the moment for the public declaration of the new king. Israel asked for a king. God said, I'm the only king that you need, but they really wanted a king. So Samuel and anointed Saul, but the people did not yet know who would be the next king. So we get to the end of the chapter. It, it is the, the public moment when, when everyone would find out, and Saul is selected, and they can't wait to see him, and the Bible says they couldn't find him because he was hiding. Uh, the New American Standard says he was hiding behind the baggage. The NIV says hiding behind the supplies. There were wagons and baggage and supply. He's the new king. He's already been anointed. God's already said, you're the man. But when it came the moment to be revealed, he hid. I believe he hid out of fear. When he finally came out, the, the Bible says he was head and shoulders taller than everybody else. He looked like a king. People shouted, long live the king. But, but I'm taken back to that big giant man hiding. And, and it makes me think of how often as believers, God calls us to something and we hide. Maybe you're not called to lead a nation as a king, but maybe you're called to be a dad and lead a family or to be a mom or you're a boss or you have influence over some friends or you're one of our wonderful school teacher and you have influence over children every day when you go to work. There are so many things God has called us to do. He's called all of us to be involved somehow in his kingdom work by finding a ministry. He's called all of us to share our faith in something called the Great Commission in Matthew chapter 28. And so many times, rather than saying, here I am, God, I'm ready, use me, we're hiding somewhere behind an excuse. Uh, we're hiding behind a, a, a reason to avoid being called by God. And maybe maybe we're like Saul. He just didn't see himself as a king. But what's interesting, in the beginning of the chapter, it says in verse 12 that God changed his heart. Paul, uh, Samuel said, when the Spirit of God comes on you and you prophesy, you will be a different person. Here's something I want you to remember. God doesn't call the equipped. He equips the called. Don't wait until you feel like you have it all together. God will call you and then he will empower you and equip you to do whatever that big thing is that he has selected you to do. You'll never be able to consistently perform in a manner that is inconsistent with the way you see yourself. Start seeing yourself the way God sees you. Come out from behind the baggage and he will do amazing things in your life. Have a great day in the Lord, church.